Hi guys! Okay, so I bought a bunch of Korean skincare products and I wanted to try them out and I wanted to try them out on camera because I wanted to show you guys just like the whole routine. I literally TikToked, YouTubed, Googled like the best products. So I hope that I picked the best ones, but I honestly, I've been doing this now, the routine for like two days or three days, something like that. And I'm in love with them, like so in love with them. It makes my skin super glowy, like you can even see right here. I have a little bit of makeup on just right here, like I have concealer, I have blush, and a little tiny bit of like contour powder, but that's it, like I have no other makeup on. Oh, I'm covering this pimple, but that's it. Everything else is just like my skin's glowiness from all the Korean skincare products, and I'm mixing them with La Roche-Posay, so like look, I'll show you right now the stuff I have. Okay. So, I got a rice toner, then I got this snail mousse, and I'm sure you heard about it like a million times. This vitamin C dark spot serum, glow serum, eye cream, skin barrier cream, and I pair it with my La Roche-Posay. So I'm thinking right now, because I have to wake up tomorrow, and I have to look nice because I'm meeting my mom's boyfriend's family for the first time. Well, not the first time, but like his extended family for the first time. And I'm slightly nervous. Like, I don't know. I want them to like me. And I'm sure they will. And I need to make sure that this pimple is not pimpling. But I think I'm covering it up pretty well. So, whatever. I'm going to take a shower because I never did after the gym today. I just literally took a nap. Maybe that's gross, but I was exhausted. So, I'm going to take a shower. Then I'm going to do my skincare. And maybe we'll just chat together. I actually realized I forgot a one of the products first. It was in my shower because I usually wash my face in my shower. <clears throat> Sorry, I feel like my voice is cracking. Anyway, you can see literally all my products just like hanging up on top of my shower. So I forgot to. I forgot this one because I learned that you're supposed to or according to like Korean skincare products or standards, you're supposed to cleanse your face with a pure cleansing oil first and then use a water-based cleanser so that's what your girl's doing because if they say it i'm doing it so i've been doing it and i actually really like it and it smells delicious okay so what i'm gonna do right now is put my camera down and take off my makeup because i want to make sure that this is all off and then i'm gonna get in the shower and then we're gonna cleanse my face that's the plan i like to take off my makeup with these like cotton squares and the micellar water but um, I don't know if you've seen my Instagram, but I said that I started using this app called Yuka, and Yuka is like this app that tells you what products are good, what foods are good, and what are bad based on like in other countries other than the United States. A lot of our products are banned because there's no good. Um, so I actually tested this one out, and this one is no good for you, but apparently the micellar cleansing water, the rose one, that's a good one. So I'm just gonna use this because I already bought it. And then when I'm done with this, I'm never gonna buy it again, but I'm gonna use the same one, the Garnier Skin Active, but in the rose. So I'm gonna just take my makeup off this. But I was using like the makeup wipes, but I heard that's too harsh for your face. So I'm just trying to be better with my skincare because when I turned 22, I'm 26 now, but when I had turned 22, my skin, was not good like I don't know what happened I know your body changes like every seven years but I don't know if that was a seven year mark but my skin was like super bad and I started using this company called Curology and that actually helped out my skin a lot which I, I give a lot of credit to Curology because they did a great job but now that I'm a little older like I stopped using Curology when I moved here which was like two years ago and after that I just decided I was going to try my own stuff, try a different skincare routine because my skin probably just got used to the Curology after a long time. So now I'm using Korean skincare and La Roche-Posay because I want to have that like glass skin effect. That's like the goal, you know? I don't want to like wear too much makeup. I like putting makeup on. It makes me feel very girly and very like cutesy, but I also don't like what it does to my skin and I'm trying to preserve the skin for the rest of my life. So, we will not be wearing foundation too much 
So I need to make sure that I have glass skin so that I don't need the foundation. Can I also just say quickly that I tried those pimple patches, like those Mighty Works pimple patches because my friend who I listen to all the time about makeup advice and skincare advice <laughs> told me that it worked for her. But I put it on on this pimple, well, these two pimples right here. And I was super optimistic. I thought it was gonna work for me. The ones I'm talking about are these, like the Mighty Patch, Your Blemish Hero Surface Patches. And you know, I rated this like a four out of 10. And the reason why I rated this like four out of 10 was because it did cover my pimples. So when I went out to work, like you wouldn't see like this giant pimple on my face. But it felt like it didn't really do much for me. And I might've had it on too long but it actually created another pimple. So like I have these two right here and then I had a little one forming right there. And I think that's really because like the oils got trapped underneath that like patch. So I will not be using that product again, but this is my skin with no makeup on. This is the first breakout I've had in years. Um, honestly, I think it's just because I'm either stressed or because I changed my skincare routine. I have no idea, but whatever, it's going away. And I'm gonna say it's going away because of the Korean skincare. But anyway, I'm gonna take a shower now and we'll be back to wash my face. There are fireworks happening outside and that makes me so happy because I'm in love with 4th of July because it comes with fireworks. I love fireworks, they're my favorite. I hope someone proposes to me with fireworks. Hands down, my absolute favorite. And on the 4th of July, actually, I'm going to a baseball game Apparently it's like the Yankees like minor league game. So I'm excited for that. And there's gonna be fireworks. Alright, anyway. Um I'm using the pure cleansing oil and I'm putting in my hand this smells like tangerines, like tangerines, clementines. I like it, it just comes down your hand. Like literally this like Milky solution comes down your hand. I like activate it with a little water. When I was in the shower, I didn't wash my face at all. All I did was, I mean, I didn't put like soaps on my face. I just like wet it with water. And then I got up and dried it. This makes an absolute mess, so I'm gonna literally show you my counter after I'm done doing it. So you're supposed to do this first, and then to the other cleanser, and you're supposed to kind of just work it into the skin as much as you can. Look at it down my arms. <laughs> it's such a mess. Like, I'm gonna show you right now. Oh my gosh, this water's hot. Like, look at it. Look at my counter. An absolute mess. This is messy. This is like an eight step skincare process. It's like tedious, but I have a feeling that it's gonna be so worth it. And I really like how my skin feels after I just do all this stuff. And I already feel like there's a difference in my pimples and on my cheek and the appearance of my skin overall. So I can't imagine if I was doing this for like months, how my skin would be. I also have lashes on, so I'm trying not to get my lashes. I'm like working around my lashes. I did it myself, so like it's not the biggest deal if it comes off, but still trying to protect them as much as I possibly can. Oh, okay, so the two products that I used, I'm just gonna show you again, was the Pure Cleansing Oil and the La Roche-Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I actually have like all the Korean skincare in my storefront. If you have trouble finding it on your own, you can definitely go look there because I have everything that I use here except the La Roche-Posay. I don't have that in my storefront, but maybe I should add it. I have this rice toner. You shake it up. And then I use the Cotton Squares if I can open this, the cotton squares. And I like having like two of them because I feel like if you just do one, it absorbs like right through it. Just do 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 And this, I feel like it doesn't have a scent. 
but it feels like calming on my skin i have these two like scars here from burning my neck with a curling iron and they won't go away it's been like a month now and i've never had scars like last this long so i've been trying to use like mederma on it just to like get rid of the scarring because i feel like it looks kind of crazy like there's literally just two i think if there was just one it wouldn't be as bad but the fact that there's two looks crazy like after cleansing my face twice taking off my makeup with the micellar water but there's still like grime that's why i feel like doing all this stuff is clearly good because clearly before i wasn't taking off my makeup the way i should have been look at that like seriously gross all right so the famous snail mucin i'm putting on my face next it's an essence and you're supposed to put that after your toner i put like three pumps look at this like it's so gooey but it makes your face like shine like i have nothing on my face really except for what i showed you and i feel like my face is already shining it does feel like slime like it feels like you're putting on slime on your face but i could care less if it's gonna make my skin glow i'm all for it and i like if i had like extra products on my hands i just kind of put it down my neck but i like layering this one on top you're supposed to put your serums your essence then your serums and then your creams so with the serums i just kind of like layer them on top of each other and then with the creams i try to place them a little differently i just dropped that top whoops but i try to place them like a little differently so they don't move because like i'm moving all the products by how i'm applying this right now okay i'm gonna show you what i mean in like two seconds let me just put on this is the glow serum next i do my eye cream and for my eye cream because i want it to stay by my eyes when i put my other creams i don't touch that area so like you'll see what i mean so like my eye cream so this eye cream is from the beauty by Josin. that's the same company that i got the glow serum from and i think i oh i also got a sunscreen from them but i haven't got it in the mail yet but i'm excited because i heard it's a really really good sunscreen my ring finger to do underneath my eyes because it's not as harsh and you have like really sensitive skin underneath your eyes so the more pressure isn't good underneath the eyes and i just kind of take it up so like because this has retinol in it and ginseng and that's good for wrinkles so i don't want to wrinkle i don't want crow's feet either so i like bring it up to where i would get like crow's feet lines in the future so yeah i mean i think i have pretty good genes like my mom is 56 and she looks like she's 36 like it's insane and i think my grandmother looks great i think she's like 78 even like on my dad's side of the family I think they look pretty good too so hopefully I do have good jeans but just in case I just want to have that like glowing skin my next product is when I start inching into the creams so now I have the barrier intensive cream I use two creams the barrier intensive cream and then the next cream I use is just my La Roche Posay um, triple repair moisturizer but this one I try not to touch where I put the eye cream so I just kind of go all around this and I'm blotting it so I don't move everything like all the other products I don't move it all around again so I'm just blotting these are literally all tricks that I've gotten from like, TikTok and other like beauty girls and I'm loving all of the tricks and tips so far. All right, next is my last cream. And this I blot again, but I'll go over like the eye cream that I did, but I'll just make sure that it doesn't move from its position. 
I'm really hoping that in a few months all this pays off and my skin is glistening. Like I want to look like Edward Cullen when I hit the sun. I want to be sparkling in the sun. I want my skin to be so smooth. I just want it to just look so hydrated. Okay, that is my whole entire skincare routine, my Korean beauty routine. I'm obsessed with it. I was using before just the La Roche Posay, and I was using this Pixi Vitamin C Tonic. Unfortunately, I did check it on um, Yuka, the app, and it said it wasn't good, so I haven't been using it ever since. And since I now have that rice toner, which I heard is way better, I've been using this instead. So that's pretty much it, honestly. Um, I'm gonna start heading to bed, taking this off. Actually, I need to eat something, put my, well, no, I need to eat something, brush my teeth, put my retainers on, and then I'm going to bed because I have to be up at eight in the morning so I can drive to my grandmother's house and then so we can drive all the way to like the Bronx. So that way I can go meet my mom's boyfriend's family, which I'm excited but nervous about. Hopefully they like me, fingers crossed, but. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.